welcome to the channel your girls back with another video now i don't normally do videos on bandman kelvo or his wife it's my dom dom that's the name that she goes by on instagram but like i said i don't normally do videos on them at all but the topic at hand i just felt like i needed to talk about okay so sis went live and i'm going to let you guys listen to that so basically she went live in front of a hotel that she's staying in and she was expressing you know how bandman kevo basically left her homeless he's not giving her no money he's not doing anything okay she's just homeless with her children in a hotel but i'm gonna let you guys listen to that but we're gonna go ahead and get into these text messages now these messages are coming from bandman kevo so he says you effed up lol the internet better pay your bills and give you money you can't get anymore then he says you k yourself you better off getting basically hit by a car and then she says the message my husband just sent me the messages continue so he says i know one good thing about you will start before i give you anything else wait till tomorrow you'll see evil if it's not fixed and really homeless i'll treat you worse than lanice you play with me and not ever deal with you and watch you slowly fall off then he also says because that's all gonna happen because you're basically stupid which is pretty messed up like this is her husband that's telling her all of these things now once you watch the video i want to know your thoughts and opinions on it but before i let you guys watch the video i just want to say this my mom always taught me that a woman should have her own okay even if you're a stay-at-home mother still have some kind of income coming in okay some kind that way if a man just leave you you won't be left with nothing at all because basically sis had a business but it must not be doing too well because i know she had like a press on nail business but it's like it must not be doing too well because sis is homeless and she's living out of a hotel with her children and it just makes me sad when i think of situations like this because of course he's a multi-millionaire and he's bragging about you know how he's gonna leave her homeless not only that let's go ahead and get into his response that he had on instagram his response to his wife crying on the internet saying she's homeless with their children he says don't talk about someone and need them with a shaking my head emoji and a laughing emoji this is the mother of your children or child and also, like, this is a woman that you're married to. Like, you shouldn't just leave her high and dry. This is exactly why I say a woman should still have something going for herself. No matter what it is, sis, have something. Just don't depend on no man. Because in a situation like this, this is what's going to be happening, okay? You're basically going to have nothing while he's gone. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and let you guys listen to the live. Let me know your thoughts and opinions on this down in the comment section below. Make sure you guys like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. And as always, thanks for watching. Hey y'all, I'm just waiting for somewhere people to get in. Before I can say what I need to say. Hey y'all. I need some more people to join this before I say what I need to say. I'm gonna wait. Yeah, I'm really trying not to cry, so. Basically, I can't even talk right now. I'm trying to tell y'all, but I can't even talk. I'm so emotional. <laughs> I'm 
can let more people join. I'm crossing this thing. I'm stuttering, y'all. Shaking. I'm nervous. Yeah, no, I don't even get on live. <laughs> when have y'all ever seen me on live? <laughs> Yeah, well, I don't know how many people gonna get on here, but I don't know if y'all want to share this or not. I don't really care what y'all do. I don't care. This, I don't care. Basically, I just want to get on here and come on here and tell y'all that I'm no longer with Kevo. So please don't be associating me with him. Don't send me stuff that he got going on. Like, and that's the thing, y'all in the comments, y'all keep telling me like, baby daddy, baby daddy, this, baby daddy that, and I led y'all to believe that, but really i'm his whole wife like we are married so everything y'all been seeing him do like he been doing this to his whole wife and only reason why i'm crying is not because i feel like a girl took my spot or something like that like because like i don't even care about these girls like i don't care about these girls i don't care about him like i don't know how i am i know i'm loyal like that's all that's really the most i can't offer like if you can't appreciate that i don't know what else to tell you but i know i just can't do this no more g i'm literally homeless g I've been homeless for some months now. This man kicked me and my kids out. <laughs> he kicked me and my kids out. And just so he could run around and go be with hoes. Then make sure we had a place to stay or nothing, G. Nothing. <laughs> I can't, I can't, G. I've been completely isolated. I don't have no family. Any family I did have, he ran them away. He made me think that they worked for me, so he ran them away. So I've been isolated in the house. So I'm all the way in a whole different state where I have no parents, no family, no sisters, no cousins, nobody I can come and have my back, G. All I had was him because he made everybody else that I did have in my corner, the little bit of people that I did have in my corner genuinely, he ran them away. They don't like me no more because of him. <laughs> So now it's me and my kids, and we're homeless. We've been in a hotel. And I'm his wife, G. So all these people, and then to the girls that sending me fake pages, messages about who he on dates with, G. I don't give a fuck, bro. Like, I don't know what y'all think y'all winning. What prize y'all think y'all winning by sleeping or being with somebody's husband, G. I'm his whole wife. His whole wife, G. I'm not a baby mama. But, you know, I don't expect girls to care. I don't expect girls to care. If he, if the dude don't care, why would the girl care? So I'm not even going to get on here and try to come for these girls that's been all in my inbox and stuff like that. I got my baby right now. Here. Here, Shasha. You want me to fix the phone? Hold on, y'all. Wait, Shasha. I mean, it's real. I'll probably make more of a video showing y'all what's really tea. Even though I really didn't want it to come to this because I don't, I'm not the type to clout chase. Like, I don't need to clout chase. Like, I'm going to be completely honest with y'all. I don't care if I be super famous, G. I'm okay with being regular. Like, I don't need to be this super famous it girl. Like, I really don't. Like, all I have is my loyalty. I'm, I honestly feel like I be too real for the internet for the most of the part. Like, I don't even know if I'm built to deal with famous people because a lot of this stuff be real fake and internet. And I'm just not about that. But all I wanted to get, here, get on here and let y'all know, like, because I'm tired of keeping the secret, trying to hide. That's why y'all been seeing me not in that bathroom or whatever. Probably y'all probably noticed the location switch. Like, gee, I've been flipping around from hotel to hotel, me and my kids, while this man been living his life. Penny pen spoon feeding me, trying to send me nickel and dime here and there, tormenting me. But meanwhile, he on dates and Lamborghinis with girls, buying them whatever, taking them out on all types of dates while me and my kids are homeless in a hotel. And I had to come on here and say something, G, because I just feel like if I don't, G, if I continue to stay quiet, all he gonna do is get my page erased and nobody's ever gonna hear my side of the story. So when y'all see Shy Shy get deleted from his page, just know like he's trying to erase me, he's trying to erase my son. He don't want y'all to know what's really T, what's really going on, which 
how this would do really is. And like I said, like if he wants to be with somebody else, that's cool. Like you can't force nobody to be with somebody else. Bye. Somebody's playing my daughter. But like I said, it's cool. Like people separate all the time, but gee, don't throw me out without giving me no notice, without making sure we got a place to stay. Gee, that's not real Nick. That I'm not gonna cuss, but that's not real guy stuff. That's all I'm saying. And I just need y'all to know because y'all probably like so confused. Y'all don't know what the heck going on. Sometimes I come here, sometimes I come there, sometimes I tell y'all this, sometimes I tell y'all that. That's the real TG. I'm a whole wife. Bad man Kevo is my husband, G. So any girl that's over there doing something with him, doing this and that and the third, G, you're with a married man. So I'm, I'm glad I got the business out now. So y'all can share this, run this, and tell this to everybody, G. This is coming from his wife. Ain't nobody got the last laugh but me, G. I'm his wife. And this is what he do. He threw us out and we're homeless. I can barely get nothing out of him, but he's on dates. He's he's with rappers and models and on yachts and stuff like that. We barely can't get nothing. We barely can get nothing. I'm gone.